What's up everybody? Welcome back. Um, just wanted to do a quick kind of update. Um, it's more so just for those of you guys that are really interested in what's going on and kind of letting you know where the channel's going and what's been happening in my life. So Katie and I got married and that was just like super awesome. It was this huge event. And after that, it's just been like, I'm just trying to get back to kind of my, get back into a groove and that's okay. That's how it goes. So been working on moving things around, like no, no specific work on any car besides the Mustang, which you guys saw. So whenever I do something, I really try to bring you guys along, but I've literally been like towing cars around and like moving stuff and working on other projects. So nothing too crazy in the shop. I'm always, always, always looking forward to things and making like kind of logistical moves though. So there are parts and pieces being grabbed for Elwood. Um, I'm actually literally right now messaging my friend Ryan about chromoly for the cage, things like that. So we're always moving forward. Um, but as far as upload schedule, I wanted to make an update. There will be no more Monday or Thursday uploads for the foreseeable future, just the next few weeks. I'm working on something really big. I'm very excited. And I know that's like what everyone that has like a YouTube channel or makes videos say is like, oh, I'm really excited. But I am. I'm pumped. There's something coming up um, where it's not like concrete, so I can't really even talk about it because it is something near and dear to me, and it's going to involve you guys as well. So looking forward to bring that to you, hopefully like in December sometime. I want to try to make this happen as fast as I can, but definitely take some footwork. Another update on James's L29. He's hit a couple snags, but he's got through them. Um, that's why you haven't seen a video on that in maybe like a week or so. So we should be able to get that going again soon and then he can kind of explain to you what he found and the parts and pieces that are important to get for valve train stuff it was some valve train issues so it's really important if you are going to do a build like that you don't want to freaking be buying multiple parts that you don't need so we'll get that information out to you and actually start getting that motor back together so we can swap it in the the tempest so that's a fun thing we're doing right now as far as builds you can see the nova's in the shop I've been driving the Nova a lot. <laughs> I really like it. Um, and I just kind of want to keep tweaking little things, um, small projects, which I've never really done with a car. So I want to make it as good as I can clean up, like, you know, get the, I have a grill that I think I'm going to be able to get for it. Some new headlight bezels, not new, but you know, new old. So it kind of matches the car. Not perfect. Get some of the dents taken out little stuff, you know, but just make it really, really good. So that's really exciting. One of the reasons I want to make it really, really good is because of my friend, Nathan Shaw, you guys hear me talk about all the time. Uh, one guy's garage. He has an event called one guy's garage drag weekend. And so he does that. I think they skipped this year, but last year they did it. And then, you know, they've been doing it for a while before that and possibly next year they'll do it again. So if they do do it again next year, it's up in Minnesota area and we have some friends in Wisconsin, um, we might go do it. And if we did, I thought it'd be really fun to bring the Nova just cause it's such like a driver, maybe even drive it up there and just have like a freaking blast of a trip with Katie. So that's something that's coming up possibly in the future, but it just kind of hit me. The idea came because Nate sent me a care package. Let me flip this around, guys. You got to see this. So Nate sent, like, all this stuff, which was, like, you know, he obviously has a shop, so he has a lot of stuff hanging out. And I think this is, like, a one man's, you know, junk is another man's treasure, which is exactly right. Uh, he sent a couple stickers, and he actually sent a couple shirts, too, which is really badass. So thank you so much, Nate. That was freaking awesome, dude. I just, I was laughing so hard ripping that box apart because I didn't know what he was sending me, you know? And I was like, what? And then... Yeah, I should have probably filmed it because it was pretty hilarious. But thank you so much for the love and support, man. That was awesome. You're a badass friend. You guys, hopefully you guys are having a great week. And Saturday we'll be back for another video. I'm not sure what we're doing yet, but we're doing something. Saturday will be uploaded. Uh, but for today, that's it. I'm out. Peace.